<laughs> so we'll get we'll get to it here. I just want to start off by saying, you know, what the fuck happened to Byzantine? Can anybody tell me? I mean, that band fell off the face of the planet faster than Michael Jackson had a shot to take the edge off. <laughs> but I mean, what do you say about a band of washed up wannabe rock stars that are just too old? to be playing the music they're playing and be taken seriously. What? what do you say to that band? You say, how you doing, Let the Guilty Hang? Oh. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I can't know really quick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you know, some, some people are saying that, uh, you know, we, uh, I'll step out of Bert character for a moment. We, uh, Byzantine, got back together uh, for the money, which is total fucking bullshit. I mean, take a look at us. Don't we look like we're financially secure? <laughs> I mean, oh, I lost my place. Uh, I mean, seriously, we, we, we got about as much money as I got entries into the Beast Skits Roadie Contest. Yeah! Which was one. Yeah, Only one. And uh, Alex, uh, Alex has... Uh, Won our Beast Skips Roadie for a Day contest. He was littered with cash and prizes. Yeah. And he got to hang out with the band for free! <laughs> and uh, don't worry, Alex. Even though you're the only guy that entered, you're still a winner in my book. But I gotta tell you, it, it kind of feels like entering a retard into a breathing contest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but you know the, the you know the, it's it's very tough it's very tough to put shows together. I, I, I mean I think anyone that's in a band really knows that. And it was really tough to put these Byzantine uh, shows back together because we you know there's so many distances and things of that nature. But uh, you know we love our fans and like you know and like David Carradine we tightened up our belt and came. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I said it all you kung fu fans fuck off. <laughs> And I gotta talk about this for a second. What the fuck is going on with the Byzantine MySpace on oh, website we have? Byzantine MySpace. It's starting to look like classified ads for people who are desperate to pay their rent. <laughs> I mean, between uh, to Tony selling his guitars and Wolf selling his drums, I'm surprised that OJ isn't advertising his home improvement business. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, would, I would like to uh, move on to the man who makes suicide look like a good move. Wolf! Where's Wolf at? Oh, he's so busy he couldn't show up? What's he? He's bailing his wife out of jail! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he ain't got no money. <laughs> well, let's just pretend Wolf's here. Let's just pretend he's standing right here. <laughs> Good lord, Wolf. What the fuck happened to you? Look at you, you mess. You look like Grimace developed alcoholism. <laughs> I mean, re really, bro, I, I mean, you look terrible. I mean, I, I didn't know that Anna Nicole Smith had an understudy. Uh, <laughs> really, man, I'm, you're starting to worry me. I mean, Steven Adler called me last night. He said he's worried about you. <laughs> uh, after the band broke up, uh, Wolf became the uh, proud father of, a, of his son, Ethan. And I know for sure that Ethan is his son. Uh, the first time I met him, I, I walked up to him and I said, What's your name, little boy? And he responded with, I'm fucking starved! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wolf, you're, you're, you're a great drummer and everything. I mean, really, but you're always dropping your sticks. I mean, what's up with that? I mean, at least Def Leppard's uh, drummer has an excuse. <laughs> I'd like to, uh, I'd like to move on to my good buddy, Tony Rorba. Everyone give Tony Rorba a big round of applause, lead guitar player. He makes, he's the guy, he's, he's the man. I, I, I can't, I, in all seriousness, I've, uh, I, I've had the pleasure of being able to watch him play all these years, and, and I gotta tell you, I didn't learn a fucking thing. <laughs> but he, but he's certainly entertaining. Uh, and he, and he, and he does, uh, let the world know he has no reason to live. Uh, I mean, what's up with, where is Tony? At least, OJ, you had the balls to stand here for this, you know? one pair of pants! <laughs> I thought I saw him earlier. Uh, I guess big, bald rednecks are a dime a dozen in this fucking place. <laughs> 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 
about Tony? All right, let's just pretend Tony's standing here. <laughs> What's up with you, bro? You and your drunken rants online. You're the reason Facebook should be allowed to put people to sleep. You are the internet blogging as Dick Cheney is to hunting with his friends. Tony, you big worthless bag of shit. I'm so sick and tired about hearing your bad luck with women. You know, I gotta tell you, dude, bad luck is setting up a domino contest in Haiti. Okay? You don't, you don't, have, a, you don't have bad luck. You're just simply unlovable. <laughs> Tony, you couldn't get laid if you had an umbrella and it was raining date rape drug. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to now uh, Mr. Chris Ojeda. Everyone give Mr. Chris Ojeda a yeah. round of applause. Yeah. Of applause to oh wait, I mean Ojeda. It's not Ojeda. It's Ojeda. I love it when a redneck finds culture. <laughs> I mean, dude, you're from fucking Logan County. <laughs> Y'all need to quit pretending like your ethnic heritage means something. <laughs> okay, OJ, you're the Clint Howard of heavy metal. <laughs> you are to heavy metal what AIDS is to a long and healthy life. <laughs> you look like Joe Satriani was aborted. <laughs> You know, I, I used to be against abortion, but after being in a band for three years with you, I kind of changed my mind on all of that. Um, after the band, OG became the, the proud father of his daughter, Mallory. Everybody, round of applause for each other. Beautiful baby girl. And OJ and Mallory have a lot in common. They're both bald, awkward around strangers, and neither one of them can speak English very well. <laughs> You know, and after listening to you talk all these years, I've really come to the conclusion that you don't really help out your stereotype. Um, with that thick-ass twang of yours, writing songs about coal mining, and taking time off from unemployment to fuck your cousins. Uh, give yourself a few more years, big guy, and you'll be the next Jessica White. <laughs> OJ claims to be a spiritual man. Bullshit! The other day at church, I saw him put a home improvement flyer in the collection plate. <laughs> Spiritual my ass. Your idea of giving something up for Lent was firing Sid from the band. Oh, oh fuck you. I like my job. And do me a favor, when you go home tonight and consider killing yourself, do the world a favor and don't second guess yourself. <laughs> now, before any of you think I get out of this situation because now I'm back to being Bert and I'm looking at Skip because he's a fucking asshole too. Before you think I get out of this smelling like a rose, think again. My life totally went to shit after the band broke up. First, my dad died. Well, he didn't die, he heard the new record and killed himself. Um, <laughs> Then I realized I was going to be a parent, and I had a shit job with too many bills and a crazy pregnant redneck woman from McDowell County that got me a bigger life insurance policy as an anniversary gift. <laughs> that relationship went to hell fast. I mean, it really did, but there were signs, though. Early warning signs included my son's grandmother saying, he looks just like Wolf during his birth. <laughs> By the way, Wolf, I may not be totally 100% on this, but you may have two and a half years of child support that I'm entitled to. <laughs> and, uh, you know your relationship is, uh, going down faster than Tiger Woods' pants at a white woman contest when your girlfriend buys you a paternity test for Christmas. Or when you see a Byzantine CD at Best Buy and she says to your kid, your real daddy's in that band too. <laughs> Not to mention every time we had sex, she kept saying, oh, Tony. I couldn't tell if she was remembering something or if it was just wishful thinking. Either way, I'm kind of starting to suspect she maybe wasn't faithful. In closing, I think, uh, I've, actually, I ran out of material, so I'm going to stop now. Uh, in closing, I would, let, I would like to let the fans know that the next batch of Byzantine reunion shows truly will be reunion shows, because after what I just pulled, Sid will have his old job back. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love you guys with all my heart. Really and truly.